Hello guys, so uh, we just had the most famous panzerotti in uh, Milan. Yes, uh, we had the Melluini. We did a baked tomato mozzarella, fried tomato mozzarella one, a whole meal porchette mozzarella, and then a and focaccia. Then a focaccia. Yeah, so uh, it was really good. Yeah, really, really different, really nice. Uh, it's a different feel than eating Greg's back in uh, the UK as a pastry. Uh, a little bit more homemade, a little bit more yes. etiquette to it, and a little bit better feelings as yeah, well. Yeah, so. and as well, it's quite affordable. It was just 10 euros for the four of them. So, yes, pretty good. Yeah, so um, whenever you're here in Milan, go and visit Luini. Luini, yes. So now, what we're doing today, this afternoon, is going through an itinerary, a say, walk tour, a little bit out of typical tourist sites. So what you're going to be seeing is a good few unusual sites in Milan. So right now we are in the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele and this place, the first place where we're starting the itinerary from, is going to be just 10 minutes down the road from here walking. And, uh, just to show where we are. I've never seen before and all the times I've been to Milan. Yeah, just a bit like we're just five minutes away from the Duomo and it's nice, all like red bricks. Lovely campanile. Beautiful. So here we are, here at the gardens, i Giardini della Guastalla. So it's one of the oldest and smallest parks in Milan. So they call it La Guastalla, Guastalla in the honor of the Duchess, that was her surname, that she started, so basically she ordered the construction of these gardens, because she remained, like she was a widow at a very early age, and so she, um, she got, I think there was a seat, yeah, of a monastery that she founded for all other women like herself that uh, were left widowers and so this was started in the 16th century so really really old gardens and they belonged to the family until the mid 1950s where they were then expropriated and then now public so uh, property of uh, uh, the council in Milan. So what do you think guys of uh, the place? It's quite nice really, quite tranquil. Um, probably this little pond probably needs a little bit of a clean but <laughs> Not too bad. A lot of people are relaxing. A lot of people, yeah, just enjoy some lunch, some downtime. Yeah. Um, probably some of you are even having a siesta as well, anyway. So, uh, not really nice. Yeah, it makes for a peaceful, restful place away from just the traffic outside the gardens. Taking a siesta like everyone else. <laughs> So yeah, we are passing the uh, massive, I mean massive, building of the Court of Justice. Absolutely <laughs> humongous. I think this was built, I believe this was like the 1920s, 1930s, like more like fascist style architecture, I believe. It looks like it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on the side here on the right, we got a lovely little church. Yeah, a little church. Wow, oh, nice. now this is a garden. The, uh, the previous one we've just sat in and shown about. It was good, but doesn't, doesn't have the uh, massive architectural yeah, value yeah. Uh, like this one does. And uh, I guess this is like a small little museo mm -hmm. in front of us as well. So It's the Museum of Children and this place is called Rotonda della Besana, just because Rotonda means like round, round yeah. or roundabout and it's got like this circular shape 
and this used to be a cemetery actually and then it was part of an hospital and now it's just a park pretty the kept well <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, a museum for children all, and uh, yeah with the museum but it's got all this nice like this color that and yeah nice late baroque style I was expecting them to be bigger. This said I was expecting it to be way smaller. And it's a massive park instead, right? Mm -hmm. So massive colonnade. Really grand. Yeah, and, and uh, nice play area as well for the children. Yeah, indeed. So, yeah. And uh, I like these little art sculptures as well. I did feel that some of these trees are like hundreds of years. Oh. Yeah, now we off eh? to our next next place in a walking tour of the unusual uh, Milan so we'll be there probably like three minutes so everything you see is quite close to each other quite connected so we'll see how long then it took in total to do the whole walk This is where we wanted to show you, so it's called Il Giardino delle Culture, the Cultures Garden and all these murals are the work of the artist Millo and yeah, it's great how, you know, it was like his space, this specific playground and just a lot, adds a lot of colour to this part here to this neighbourhood, so it's pretty nice and this work, it's called Lost and Found and yeah, you can probably, we can see better from, more like from a distance, but it shows basically like the human, say the man, the car like modern man, that is surrounded by the chaos of the city. And it's all in black and white, apart from the heart in red. Uh, it's a pretty nice little playground really. The, uh, everyone's kind of in nice equilibrium with each other. You've got the little kids uh, kind of doing their thing. You've got the older teens again doing their thing, skateboarding, just going around with um, the scooters. And uh, yeah, and then you've got some other creative people that are kind of doing some photography or some filming. Um, which is pretty cool really. Yeah, seems like a place for... Uh, creatives, yeah, 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 everyone and creatives as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no one's really looking, staring, everyone's just minding, everyone's just minding their own business. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you see with the murals, uh, pretty funny really. Okay guys, so we're only five minutes away from our last destination of today. Yeah. Okay, we decided to go down the street of rubbish. Of via, uh, what would rubbish be? Uh, via the Rifiuti. Yeah, via the Rifiuti. <laughs> Look at that, what the hell happened here? Yeah, but I think, you see, they're picking it up, but there's something maybe. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe this street could be a stall, fair, um, or market. Oh, yes, yes. It makes total sense that there was a market and then obviously they're clearing up now, so yeah, it makes sense because yeah. the, the rest of the, the streets were all very clean, so I thought, oh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it stinks. What's <laughs> up? What's up? Yeah, but we're gonna be making the last one soon. So, despair, don't despair, we're gonna be making a left in Via Abramo Lincoln. So, that's where the little neighborhood that we're gonna be seeing is 
in via Abramo Lincoln, so Abram Lincoln Street. So we see why. It's oh, a bit maybe special. maybe we get a little bit of taste. Yes. Taste of it there. So hmm, just seen that. This neighborhood is called the Little Notting Hill of Milan or the Little Burano of Milan just because it reminds you of those places. Burano, which is a small little town near Venice that's also very, very colorful just like here. And Notting Hill, obviously, the famous uh, neighborhood in London. So, yes, this used to be um, more like inhabited by workers. So mm. it was actually built, like all these houses, around the 19th century for workers working in the area but now it's one of the most exclusive areas in Milan very very expensive to live here and very 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 quiet here so it just feels like you're not really in Milan yeah So this is our first day uh, in Milan. I think it's uh, oh, it went really well. Five, ten minutes away yes, from the Duomo. Yes, five, ten minutes from each other. And in total, I think we walked about, let's say, 40, 45 minutes at best. Tomorrow we'll be oh. heading back into Milan again. And we'll go to yet another unusual place. So we'll see you there. Oh, I might help these guys, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hold that for a uh, I would say, uh, uh, aiutare. Aiutare, yes. Ciao, aiutare. Siamo due, vai, vai. Sali. Grazie. Oh. Oh. Oh, I tried. I decided to go son on glazer just because he was trying to speak. Italian, so I didn't want to make out I was rude not answering. <laughs> and uh, pushing it down the street, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't get the. Uh, wouldn't turn on. Wouldn't turn on. Wouldn't get the kick. <laughs> so he said, impossible. Uh, see, si. uh, capisco. <laughs> capisco. <laughs> uh, so I said, ah, oh, uh, buona fortuna. <laughs> buona fortuna. Yeah, okay, good luck. Good. good luck. So. <laughs> that's uh, good. And uh, yeah, it was funny. Oh, I feel fine. This was the best part of the day. Bear exercise. <laughs> So, uh, locals, eh? so yeah, we leave you with that one. A good final exit. Yeah, ciao, ciao. Yeah. See you. Come along with us to the church that was called the Sistine Chapel of Milan and admire an unusual statue on the way there. Let's find out. <laughs> 